Hello guys, Jack from Fox Tech. I'm sure you have seen many VTOLs, multi-rotors, and similar fixed wing on the market, the different weight, wingspan, or shape. But today, I'm going to show you one that is not similar to any of them. This is the Fox Tech Ike 250, new version. Thanks to the whole design and the surface making so smooth uh, surface, the Ike 250 has a great efficiency and a great flying time. Okay, back to the topic. Why I'm calling the Ike 250 new version? Because uh, in the last six months, the plane has flown in every corner of on the Earth, uh, from the North Pole to the South Pole. So we have done many tests and uh, see uh, if anything we can improve. And uh, yes, indeed, we find a lot. And now the plane, this vehicle, IC250, is uh, quite unique, has uh, so many unique features that can greatly help you to reduce the operation time, like in field preparation time. It can greatly be reduced, and also the flying time, flying efficiency can be greatly improved. Let me show you something interesting and quite unique here. Well, first, let's see the motors. The motors are redesigned and uh, greatly tested and also very carefully mounted and to make one feature making true. Let me see. Right? Like it has inner sp spring, but it's not. Okay, so all four motors has this unique technology. You can spin it, but it always point the tip of the propeller to the front. Now, also the same thing on the tail motor. Well, uh, you, can, you may ask one question. Oh, it looks great. How it would help with efficiency? Let me tell you. So, by using this very unique technology, when we fly and transfer the whole VTOL into a fixed wing, the four lifting motors will stop. And then, in the past, it's like this way. You see? High-speed air coming from the in-front. Okay? And it blow to the propellers and making it, it is this way. There are some great air resistance generating from this motor, this motor, and also the tail motor. So the new technology is pointing the tip of the propeller where it has the least air resistance uh, to the front. So the total resistance can be greatly reduced up to 20%. Also, the flying time, maybe 20% more. Okay, next feature, which I consider could be the best and the most interesting feature, and also a very revolutionary change I've made on the i 250 is the dual GPS system. And you may see many dual GPS or triple GPS on other vehicles or multi-rotors, but this one is so different. Uh, we have adopted the GPS differential technology by using two GPS to totally replace the need of compass. Imagine that. Somebody may not realize the importance of replacing the compass. Well, I think the biggest headache when you're flying a VTOL is the compass, compass difference, or say compass variance. Compass variance is the headache. And you have to calibrate the compass whenever you go to a different place. So what you have to do is to hold the whole plane and rotate many circles until the compass is calibrated. But now, no need. You just put it on the ground and wait like five minutes, and then you are ready to go. The GPS can be acted as a compass and guide the whole plane all the way in the fly. You just put it on the ground and power it up and wait five minutes until the GPS gets great fix, and then you are ready to go. No more worry about the GPS variance. So this is a great improvement, and it's the best thing I like. Well, now let's take a close look about the tail. The tail is a redesign and to make people really easy to put the whole plane into the trunk of your car. And we have cut it off 
and made two pieces, like here we have a detachable tail. Uh, we actually fix it by three very to ease to use easy clamp or easy switch. And uh, by releasing the three switch, one, two, three, we, we are so easy, we are able to so easily uh, remove the tail. Let me show you some detail. You see, we are using the quick detach sockets, sockets and also plugs uh, to make it so reliable. And we have added actually four uh, screws for holding the whole tail in place and using the three clamps uh, to make it so easily, can be so easily removed. So the whole, you know, the whole dimension uh, after removing the tail of the plane is uh, so small. Then uh, also I have to mention the V-tail is uh, quick detachable. So you can remove it very easily, and mount it very easily like this. Okay, now let's see some details about the tail <laughs> as soon as I remove it. Well, the two digital servos, metal gear serv servos, uh, act as both the rudder and the elevator. They are so sensitive and uh, high definition. And then we can see many openings here. Actually, it's uh, for re reducing the temperature of the uh, ESC, the electronic speed controller of the tail motor. And tail motor also the high efficiency type. And we are using the very good made uh, wooden propeller as the tail thruster propellers for uh, good efficiency. Uh, there's this one fin act as yeah, fin, like a shark. Yeah, it as a, a stabilization wing and also the landing gear. So actually it's a very, very tough fix. Feels a very, very strong on this piece. Well now, if you are interested in buying a ARC 250, this great Vito, so many features, we are offering two versions. One is the standard version that you can mount the gimbals, or the cameras like a multi-spectrum cameras, a mapping cameras, survey cameras here, or loading a gimbal and camera for inspection job. And then one special and unique version we are offering is now the cargo delivery version. Yes, we have made a detachable, sorry, not detachable, it's an automatic open uh, cargo, cargo bay. Yeah, it's right here. Uh, let me show you some detail. It's actually a very smart design and uh, you can load something in the belly of your plane and uh, uh, fly, taking off from one location and then fly to the destination and uh, land or hover like a multi-rotor and then open the cargo bay and the uh, items you want to ship can be dropped. So. Uh, it's a very good design. Let me show you some detail. Well, for the delivery version of ARC 250, it allows you to put in something big. Well, maybe another M and control the vehicle. Let's see. Open. Yeah. Something like this. M and control the vehicle. Let's take a close look about the hatch door or the delivery door, whatever you call it. And yeah, you can see, we can, we can open it. It has an inner spring and lock system. And if we put something, and it can lock by using the inner servos. And when, whenever your plane is reaching the destination, and it can be triggered automatically to drop something. Like I said, an automatically running car or vehicle and uh, or the emergency items. And then uh, by the force of a spring, the hatch door will go back to its place and the plane will take off and fly back to the launching point by itself. Well, there's also a switch for you to release the hatch door uh, manually because when it's reaching the destination and land on the ground, then the people at the other place or at the destination will need to open the hatch door to retrieve anything you want to ship. So what we have to do is just press this button twice. 
then the head door can be opened manually and then you can uh, take things out. Okay, if you want to buy this one, you can find it on our site, which is the foxtechfpv.com. Also, if you want to get more news about the ARC250, you can go to our Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and any of our social medias to get more flying videos and more documentation about ARC250 new version. Hope you like it. This is Jack from Foxtech, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.